Uh, the first time I dealt with depression, I think it was in high school, uh, during basketball season, my senior year. I just had ACL reconstruction that summer before. Um, basketball wasn't quite as fun as it should be. Um, at that time, I didn't seek the help that I should have, um, kind of put it away. Then uh, my sophomore year of college, things kind of came to a head again when um, end of the semester came up and I wasn't really taking care of my schoolwork that I needed to do. Um, just kind of living in kind of a false reality of things were going to kind of take care of themselves. And uh, I was ruled academically, academically ineligible. And so I missed the whole second semester of, uh, of my sophomore season. I was, it was kind of like I was living kind of as a zombie, um, you know, kind of a robot. I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't really want to do anything besides the stuff that I absolutely had to. Um, I would lay in my room a lot, sleep a lot, but just not want to deal with people. Um, in the college basketball situation, like I needed, obviously I needed to go to practice every day, um, but I wouldn't say a whole lot at practice, just kind of go, go in, go through the motions, and come home and just kind of keep to myself from then. Um, it was, it took a toll on, on everything I did. Uh, basketball was my life at that time and it, you know, it took me away from, took me away from the game. It took my whole, kind of took my life away from, from that aspect. But once I got the right help and kind of got back on track, um, things, things kind of worked, worked their way out. Um, but it was, it was hard on a lot of things. The, my good friends and family that knew me well knew something was going on, was going on. Cause I wasn't, I wasn't myself. I wasn't, you know, fun to be around. I wasn't a happy guy and uh, they knew that's not who I was, so they were happy to hear that I was getting help that I needed. The first, the first person that, you know, kind of really suggested that I get help was, uh, was my mom. My mom has dealt with depression too in the past, and she's always told me that if you just don't feel right, if there's something kind of off, she's like, don't be afraid to, to go talk to somebody, to talk to me about it or whoever. Um, but then it was probably my, my trainer in college. He, he saved my life. He was, uh, he was the one that was really influential in getting me to go see a doctor to see the right things and even just being able to talk to him, talking to him about what I was feeling, what was going on, the whole situation. He helped as much as he could um, to what was in his power and um, you know, I'm still grateful for him today. You know, I'm still um, good friends with him, keep in touch as much as we can and uh, he, he really was one that um, was the biggest helper to get me out of, out of, my, out of my kind of funk, out of my depression. Yeah, I mean, I was reluctant at first, um, you know, in college, and even just being a being a big guy, like a big kind of strong basketball player. Like, how can I let you know this kind of this something like this slow me down? Um, but it was it was it was overwhelming. I mean, it was obviously it was affecting my everyday life. And once I got the treatment that I needed, um, once I kind of came public with with my whole story, um, I had hundreds of emails, texts, calls of people that have also dealt with it or their wife dealt with it or their cousin or neighbor, somebody else that whose life has been affected by depression. And you know, they were happy to hear that I was getting the right treatment, the right help, um, because so many people deal with it, but it's just not everybody talks about it. And for when you kind of come out and express like the subject or the whatever's wrong, you really realize how many more people are dealing with it too. Um, and when I was going through everything, I, I felt pretty alone. But once I started getting the help that I needed, um, I had an overwhelming amount of support. Uh, my friends were great, my family was great. Um, they all just wanted to see me get better. They just wanted to see me be me, be the, be the guy that they knew better than you know who I was becoming. And they were they've been nothing but supportive, and since then, you know, even more so. They've um, I got a great, great group around me of you know tight friends and. And my family is, has, been un, has been unbelievably supportive too. As some of the stuff that I learned when I was dealing with it back then, it was kind of, we did some small steps of, you know, make small goals for yourself every day. So even, you know, getting up, having breakfast, kind of, um, they, they kind of seem little at the time, but in your mind, if you know you're getting stuff accomplished, you kind of get a little bit of momentum going through the day. So then by the end of the day, you're not just kind of sitting around going, you know, I didn't do anything today or feeling sorry for yourself or anything like that. So just kind of this, the small steps, making little goals for yourself to, to keep yourself encouraged, keep yourself positive about everything. Stress 
Yeah, yeah there is, you know, there is a lot of pressure and, you know, stress at, at times with, with this profession. Um, but it, you kind of got to go stay off the roller coaster. You know, you can't get too up on the, on the highs and you can't get too down on the lows either. Um, to try and stay even about even keel most of the time. Obviously, enjoy, enjoys the, enjoy the highs when they come. But at the same time, you know, not get too down about, about the negatives too. And that was another thing that, that I really had to work on um, in the past was, you know, really focusing on the negative. And the negatives are going to happen, but just don't make a big deal out of it and enjoy the positives when they do come around. Um, and I decided to tell my story just if I can help one person. Um, that's, that's, all, that's all it would mean to me. If I could make a difference, any small amount of difference in one person's life, if I can... If me sharing my story can help one person out to maybe come and get the treatment or get help that they need, um, you know, I think that's worth it to me. So any, any small way I can help, just create the awareness because so many people deal with it. And once I came out and said, you know, told the public and stuff what was going on with, with myself, then I was, I was really overwhelmed with how many people came up to me, you know, whether it was through email, text, phone calls, even in person, just people that have said, you know, well, I've, I know what you're going through, I've, I've been there, or my wife was there, um, or you know, my husband, or whoever it was. It's, so many people are affected by it, and it's, it's not, it shouldn't be a closet issue. Um, there's nothing to be ashamed about getting help. Um, it's just the same if, if you have a broken leg, you go to the doctor to get it fixed. Um, you know, it's the same kind of thing. They're, your mind is a powerful thing, and it can go both ways, it can really, inspire and control you to be happy and have a positive life but it can also go the other way and if you know if you're headed in another direction it's never too late to turn back around um, there's always things you can do to to be on that positive side to really to really expand and just use your mind the way the way that you should to be happy to enjoy life